the baseline of music frequency is 440 hertz. And 440 hertz kind of agitates that auditory nervous system. It kind of agitates your brain waves. Um, it brings a sense of, um, it ignites like your serotonin and your dopamine. That's why we have feelings when we're listening to music. You know, it's stimulating them, whether it be good or bad. However, the 440 hertz is not the original frequency of instruments that are played for healing. Welcome to the We Got Problems podcast with co-hosts Curtis G. Martin, Rhonda L. Brown, and Khalif Johnson C. The one and only podcast where solutions get discussed to our community's everyday troubles. Each week, you will hear mind-blowing conversations and actionable tips and strategies that you can implement in your daily life to become more effective. We got problems and we got solutions. All right, you guys, welcome to the show. This is We Got Problems, where we discuss solutions. I'm Curtis G. Martin, here with my co-host, Rhonda L. Brown. Hey, everybody. My second co-host, Khalif Johnson Sr. Peace, y'all. How y'all doing? And today we have a special guest in the house, Dr. Tony. Dr. Tony, why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself and what it is that you do? Hello, everyone. Thank you. We got problems. Thank you, Curtis, Miss Rhonda, Dr. Trash. I appreciate the time. I appreciate being here. I am a doctor of natural medicine. I specialize in energy medicine and energy psychotherapy. Um, I assist others on their journey through whether it's your spiritual health, physical health, mental, and emotional well-being. I'm just an assistant, and carefully I cover a lot of different modalities to be of the best assistance. <laughs> All right, so what is, what is sound therapy? What is this therapy thing? So sound therapy is, is a little different than energy medicine, so to speak. Um, sound therapy is like nature sounds. Um, sound therapy resonates with your um, auditory nervous system and communicates messages and resonance and frequencies uh, in that regard. So different tones and music. Um, birds singing, you know, the ocean, na different nature sounds are all stimulating because that resonate, that resonance travels through your auditory nervous system and communicates with, with your body on a cellular level. Um, energy medicine is a little bit different than just sound therapy. Okay. And you said, you said you do both or you do... Energy. I specialize in energy medicine, so as a whole, whether it's psychedelics, whether it's sound therapy, whether it's Hertz frequencies, syphagial frequencies, um, healing codes, um, EFT tapping, these are all um, modalities that stimulate the movement, uh, stimulate your vibration, stimulate your own body's resonance. Okay, so how can we use it in our everyday life? Um, you're actually using it in your everyday life, you know. Um, how to be aware and use it in, in more of an effective way. Um, for example, we listen to music, you know. Um, the music that you listen to carries sounds. A lot of times have the baseline of music frequency is 440 hertz. And 440 hertz kind of agitates that auditory nervous system. It kind of agitates your brain waves. Um, it brings a sense of, um, it ignites like your serotonin and your dopamine. That's why we have feelings when we're listening to music. You know, it's stimulating them whether it be good or bad. However, the 440 hertz is not the original frequency of, instruments that are played for healing you know uh 432 hertz is that universal resonance that that most instruments are tuned to in order to strike the proper resonance 
to cause for your lymphatic system to flow um, or release any blockages or to stimulate uh, tissue rejuvenation or DNA repair. Uh, so music tuned at 432 hertz definitely has a powerful healing effect versus the agitating effect of most of the music that we listen to today. Okay, so how did you get into this field? Oh, wow. Um, I, I utilize energy medicine during a healing crisis in my life. Um, I was in and out of the hospital and stroke protocol like every two weeks. Mm -hmm. um, they're monitoring me, having me do all these heart tests and coming back saying nothing's wrong. Um, I had really bad vertigo. I could not drive for like a year. Um, couldn't really take care of my children. I have eight children and, you know, just my health was severely declining. But when you look at me, people are like, oh, you're okay. You're fine. You know, like basically you ain't dead. So you're okay. You know, I'm not okay if I'm in the hospital on stroke protocol every other week and abnormal EKGs and can't stand up still because I'm having vertigo too bad. That's not okay. You know, um, and I could, couldn't find anybody to help me. I found a holistic health practitioner and I would buy all his supplements and that wasn't helping. Um, I tried so many different things at the time and just nothing was helping. So um, one, one day I was being released from the hospital on stroke protocol. And while I was there this time, I'm like, I have to find something. I can't die on my kids, you know, this is, it was very, very scary. Um, and I was doing research on IV nutrient therapy, you know, and it was really expensive, but I'm like, Hey, you know, I have to try something. I have to figure this out. So I found a doctor in my local area that did IV nutrient therapy. I left the hospital and went straight to her office. Um, and I paid for her to do all the blood work that there is possible. Like on that little blood work form, check everything, check it all. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't want my insurance to pay for it. I wanted to pay for it so that I can test for everything. And, um, and then the next day I went to a private ultrasound um, facility and got a full body ultrasound. And um, from the full body ultrasound, it showed that like, it it appeared that my heart had damage to it. Like I had a heart attack at some point. I didn't know I had a heart attack, you know, um, thyroids were enlarged. Every organ in my system was enlarged, inflamed and enlarged. And then when we got the blood work back, I was like severely malnutrition, you know, B vitamins, magnesiums, potassiums, my electrolytes, my amino acids, everything was just completely out of whack. Um, it also showed that I had a Hashimoto's um, a disease at the time. Not a lot of people were talking about Hashimoto's then. And um, it explained a lot, you know. So I was like, okay, what I got to do to fix it, you know. So I did IV nutrient therapy um, every day. Uh, vitamin C one day, amino acid the next day, Myers cocktail the next day, glutathione the next day. Next week, start all over. Um, I also did a heavy metal detox. I started doing Qigong. I'm just doing it. I'm trying everything new. You know, anything. I'm willing to try it if it's on help. So mm -hmm. uh, we're about maybe six weeks into uh, these treatments and I'm noticing slight differences, but not major. So I'm thinking I just bought everything from her. You know, I'm coming every day. I bought everything off her shelves, off, off her counter. And this guy comes out of one of the back offices, and I see this big this machine. And I'm like, wait a minute, what is that? What does that do? Uh, at the time, I did holistic body sculpting. So, you know, automatically it was an interest. And she's like, oh, well, I don't really do that service. You know, he knows what it is. So he just comes in every week and he does it. Well, I want to know what it is, you know. So I mm -hmm. asked her if she would allow for me to take the manual home 
and for me to study the manual. The device was a pulse electromagnetic field device. Um, and I took it home, researched, studied, and I created a treatment plan for myself. Um, that treatment plan, I, I, I added that treatment into the IV nutrient therapy. So I'm still going every day, but now I'm also going every day and adding this pulse electromagnetic field therapy into play. So the first treatment that I did with that was um, brainwave therapy. Um, <coughs> brainwave therapy to balance the right and the left brain. When the communication of your right and left brain are no longer in sync, then you can't communicate to your nervous system, which communicates to your cells, your organs, your body, you know. And immediately, like, after the third day, I started noticing a big difference. Like I wasn't having as many panic attacks a day. I wasn't feeling the vertigo as as often or as severe. I'm like, okay, you know. Um, so I stuck with that treatment for six weeks along with the IV nutrient therapy. After the six weeks, I started doing microcirculation um, mm -hmm. therapy. If you're familiar with the what's micro What's microcirculation? I'm not familiar. Microcirculation therapy is stimulating uh, your blood flow through your, not just your arteries and your veins, but through your capillaries. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times we become so severely dehydrated that our capillaries are no longer extending to our major organs. You know, they're just dried up and withered up. So microcirculation helps to stimulate that connection with your capillaries so that you know, your fluids, your blood, your nutrients can flow to those ma major organ systems. Mm -hmm. So I did um, microcirculation therapy. I think I did that therapy for like three months. Mm -hmm. um, because we're doing IV nutrient therapy. They can't even get the IV in my vein most of the time. I'm so severely dehydrated. Um, How, question. I have a yeah. question. How many years of schooling did you need to get into this? Um, I finished eight years of coursework in two years. Okay. So what would have taken or should have taken eight years it was two. Years. I, I want to go back a little bit. What What is microcirculation therapy and what does it actually do? I know you said the capillaries are dried up. So, but what does it do? So you, you mentioned that we, we severely dehydrated. But what does that circulation do to the capillaries? So when you're severely dehydrated, a lot of your capillaries kind of wither, you know. And, you know, it's like a narrowing until there's no longer that connection to that organ. So when you have so many of your capillaries wither like that, then now your blood flow can't flow properly to that organ. Your nutrients can't flow properly to that organ or that system. You know, it, it, it clogs up your system. Whenever your capillaries are not hydrated, whenever they're not extending out to those organ systems. So what does the therapy do to them to open them back up or whatever it does? So pulse electromagnetic field therapy has different settings and different frequencies that are intended to stimulate that area so in your body everything has a resonance including your capillaries including your veins you know um your your veins and the resonance of your veins is different than the resonance of your artery or the resonance of your liver you know so the the beauty about um energy medicine is that you know how to tune into that frequency you know of that system that's having a problem. So the frequencies uh, used in microcirculation therapy, it may be a number of different frequencies used in, in combination to, to in, enact that stimulation as a whole, you know? So, so do these frequencies help with mental illness as well? Oh, definitely. So much so. So are there are there any like adverse side effects you know that like would come with medications um i will say this like it's so different 
the feeling is so different in your body that it can be scary, you know, because mm -hmm. you're, you're buzzing all around, but it's internally, you know, um, you feel it, but it's just something that's so new and so different than what we're used to feeling, you know, that, mm -hmm. that part is just, you know, kind of nerve wracking. However, it doesn't last long. You know, it can be a second. It can be 10 minutes. Longest case for me, um, it, was, it was about like an hour that I was not feeling okay, just feeling this strange feeling. But afterwards, you always feel better than what you've ever felt before, if that makes sense. It does. But how do you know what, how do you know what frequencies certain people need to hear? Um, but that's one of the reasons. Once I knew that this worked, how it worked for me, I went on to study other modalities of frequency, you know, because we, again, we all have so many different, um, so many different underlying biochemistry and genetic and epigenetic issues, you know? So in my studies, like there's sophageal frequencies, there's rife frequencies, there's rebarbi codes, there's healing codes, you know, all of these different modalities have their own way of uh, sending out or broadcasting these frequencies, you know. Is this something that people can do at home themselves? Mm, I do have a, a frequency library called Quantum Success Systems. That frequency library was created for home use. You know, so there are a lot of different frequencies in that frequency library that you can learn about. You can utilize them on yourself, your family, your water, your plants, your animals, and get to know them in that way. Um, however, when you're using frequencies to for chronic health issues, you want to do so with a practitioner that can assist because it is a form of medicine you're causing a biochemical change in the person's body that has to be monitored by somebody that's aware of, you know, what to do. So would you recommend like parents using it on their children? And Use it all day. All <laughs> what are the benefits you see from that? Oh, wow. Um, from mental health, just this morning, my 15 year old work, woke up with really bad cramps. So, okay, go drink it, wheatgrass, add some ashwagandha to the wheatgrass. And now I know she has her nutrients, you know. And right after that nutrient sets in, now I run the frequencies to help the nutrients assimilate better and faster um, in her system. And then after that, I ran some frequencies for pain, you know, helping her cells feel like they're safe. You know, um, about 20 minutes later, she was asleep, relaxed, and, you know, laid right up under me. Um, I I use frequencies. I ha One of my daughters had temper tantrums. She's the only child that had temper tantrums. And when I learned how they work for her, oh, you're going to sit on this mat, you know, <laughs> sit her on the mat, play the frequencies. After about one minute, I see the change in her. Two minutes, she ain't mad no more. By the third minute, now she's singing the song on TV, you know. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have to be hard, you know. Um, the frequencies are like universal information. It's going to do what it's going to do. Our bodies are innately intelligent. They know exactly what to do if, if it has the right stimulation. Okay, so when you're working with your clients, right? Do you do you speak with them when you're using frequencies, or do you wait till they're done and then get their feedback, or do you talk to them while they're doing it? Um, that's a tricky one, um, and it just all depends on the client and their emotional and mental state. Um, I am a what they call a medical medium, or clairvoyant, psychic, so to speak. I do also do remote viewing. So there's a lot of communication that happens energetically between me and the client and their subconscious, their organs, you know. When you become familiar, just like with anything else, when you become familiar with a certain resonance and what it does, then 
you're able to acknowledge what that is, you know, faster. So because of that experience, it's easier for me to let me let your body tell me, you know, sometimes. Go ahead. Oh, so with these frequencies, I've seen in hypnosis, I think they just ask the question, like, do you speak to them as well, trash hacks? Um, Because I've heard that within hypnosis, uh, the tonage of your voice is what gets you to that hypnosis state. So would that be kind of the same thing, like like far as dealing with the frequencies? Uh, yes and no. So yes, um, because it's a it's a communication with another person's subconscious or energetic body or biofield, so to speak. Okay. Um, no, because in order to perform hypnosis, unless you're performing self-hypnosis, you have to trust somebody else in your subconscious. I would never, ever, ever recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> Even and I'm a hypnotherapist. I don't, I don't do it. You can't come to me and, and ask for an appointment for that. Now, I know hypnosis, if I need to get all my kids hypnotized and so we can carry out something, you know, on the same accord. But it's not something that I use in my practice because it goes against that belief for me personally. I don't believe that anyone should be able to tap into your subconscious and you not be aware. Yeah, no, it it gets weird because, you know, I was I was listening to like some binary beats on um, YouTube. And I stopped. Well, I started downloading the videos because they have the commercials come in, right? Like you get in this state and now they playing the commercials, right? Like, and, so uh-huh. <laughs> and now you can put in everything from the commercial. Even. Yeah. <laughs> and then even YouTube, a lot of those places have subliminal information in them. You know, they have mm-hmm. some information in them so if you're ever listening to anything on youtube and you feel kind of agitated in your system and you feel kind you know you have to keep in mind it's it's created by somebody yeah. who is their character you know mm-hmm. but what i love about working with frequencies is i can't influence them you know yeah yeah no that's I, good if i got if i'm in a bad mood i got an attitude i don't like you i'll None of that matters. I can't influence them. They're going to do what they're going to do. Mm-hmm. You know? So are, are there certain people you tend to work with more or like to work with? I only work with people that are ready. Okay. Because oh. this work is life-changing. It's like so life-changing and life-altering and instant that you have to be ready for that change. And if not, it's fight. You know, I don't want to fight with people to help them heal. <laughs> okay, so are you currently taking any clients? Uh, definitely, definitely. Just be ready. Just be okay. ready for, for change. <laughs> All right. So, look, what are the, what's the most important thing you learned in your life? Mm, never stop learning. All right, that's good. I like that. Never stop learning. Never okay. Stop. Mm-hmm. If you could turn back time and talk to your eighteen-year-old self, what would you say? Listen, <laughs> listen, learn to listen, <laughs> you know? Okay. It, mm-hmm. Okay. If you could sit down and have a conversation with anybody dead or alive, who would it be and why? Uh, Tupac. Why? Why? Um, to have opportunities to, to, not just communicate but converse and like really get to know somebody who's on that level to have those conversations you know sometimes in life we you only meet certain people you can have certain conversations with you know Mm -hmm. and um those relationships don't come by very often you know so Mm -hmm. nature in which i feel like we can have a conversation now the me now not the me then, you know, um, that would be a really heartfelt uh, 
Punk, I believe. If you can recommend one book for the people to read, what would it be? Art of War. Okay. What's your best tip for making our community a better place? Oh, wow. Learn about energy medicine. You know, that's the secret. Okay. We know you're a mom, right? <laughs> a mom times mom. How do you balance your family life with work? It's it's an intricate dance every day, you know. Sometimes I gotta shut this down to be front and center for them, and sometimes I gotta turn the mommy hat off. Nope, it's not, I'm not mom right now. Mom, I gotta go handle something else. And, and um, the the beauty of it, it with my children, what I feel like we've been able to develop is I'm not just mom. Like I'm me. I'm a person too. We cohabitate. We share in our experiences. We share, you know, a lot about who we are together in the home, growing up together. So, yes, I'm mom. Yes, I'm the friend. But they're they're their own individuals, you know. So um, that brings about the balance. When they need me, they'll know I'll be there. So I can't just say it has to be this way or plan the schedule to be that way. We work it out. We work through it. As everything comes up, we work through it. I have some resilient babies. If somebody needed your services or wanted to learn more about what you do, how could they find you? Um, I am reachable on all social media outlets. Um, Dr. Tony on Instagram, Dr. Tony on uh, Facebook. Um, there's drtony.com. Um, my personal website. However, you cannot schedule appointments there at the moment. I am restructuring um, to have a lot of different DIY courses. Um, there's a lot of people that want to do things on their own, you know, and thankfully with energy medicine, it, you can be guided to to be able to take on this journey on your own as well. So I'm pulling together more DIY resources for people. Um, and is your social media uh, Dr. T-O-N-E-E? -E? Yes. Okay, so Dr. T-O-N-E-E -E on all social media platforms. All right, cool. Hey, Rhonda, do you have any last words you want to leave the people? Mm. I the, Look, the main thing that stuck out is no, no hypnotizing. <laughs> <laughs> and watch what you watch on YouTube. All right, there we right. go. How about you, Trash? Hey, I, I just want to thank you for coming through, sis, and blessing us with this interview. We know what you do for the community. We know the work that is being put in behind the scenes. We know how valuable this is to our community and how much healing it can bring to our families and our youth. So I just want to say thank you and keep doing what you're doing. Dr. Tony, you have anything you want to leave the people with? Um, I'm just appreciate appreciative to be on here with all of you um i'm happy to see your growth i'm happy to be a part of uh after dark and we got problems because y'all offered a solution and i'm thankful that you invited me here to be able to share how i offer solutions to the community as well all thank right you. We appreciate you coming. Uh, I wanted to thank you as well. And for anybody out there listening and you want to get into these sound and energy therapies, y'all contact Dr. Tony. And you guys, this is We Got Problems, where we also have solutions. And we From the team at CRC Empire, we want to thank you for listening. To stay connected with us, like, share, and subscribe to the We Got Problems podcast. You can find us on social media platforms at Curtis Martin 247, at Rhonda Wright's Official, and at the underscore trash underscore vegan underscore. We got problems and we got solutions.